Hey guys, it's invalid. Um... Man, we live in some crazy times. I wanted to make this an update video, but... For the past several days, I've just been mulling over the events that have been happening in... the U.S. Honestly, I've been thinking about that rather than doing much else with the channel. I'm still struggling with um, recording issues for Bandicam, and I'm trying to get that all straightened out. Um, but most of my focus has just been on what's been happening outside in the world. We've, we've hit a point where things have come to a head. And I can't stay silent anymore. And I, I hate talking politics, and I hate talking about um, issues like race or religion or any of these other things, because to me personally, it's not that I don't want a discussion, but I feel, number one, there are so many people that put it better than me, and number two, there are a lot of things I, I've... My personal philosophy is if I don't know something about a topic, if I don't feel like if I feel I don't know enough about a certain topic, I just won't see anything. But every time I think every time I think about George Floyd or one of those other people out there, some of my closest friends Are non-white and every time I hear about one of these stories I can't help but imagine what are my friends being in their place the fact that that's even a possibility so I don't I don't plan to make this a super political channel or anything, but I need to start speaking up about stuff. About certain things that I feel I need to speak up about. We're, we're already at a point where inaction has led to this peak, this rising chaos, if you will, or this cascade where Actions being taken against people who are hurting other people are not being conducive in helping those people realize what their behavior is doing, in stopping the the perpetuation of these inhumane things. Trevor Noah said it best in, in one of his videos a couple days ago, where you have all these people that are rioting, and you have people that are... You have outsiders looking in on that and saying... That's not what they should be doing. That's not how you protest. That's not how you make a statement. But then you have to realize, I'm paraphrasing here, that these, the majority of these people are those who signed a social contract with society. Spoken, unspoken, whatever. But a contract nonetheless where regardless of if they're destitute, if they're on the streets, if they're starving, whatever, that there's an expectation for everyone to still use money to purchase goods to treat others with kindness and respect, to 
take the the pro quo way going through going with the system and following its rules when you have these people that have signed that contract for the last 10 20 30 200 years and in their own neighborhoods they see this contract these laws the people constantly being violated broken in front of them every day broken not just by others but by the people who are meant to uphold it the law enforcement the very same people who are supposed to not just enforce the law but uphold it and now it's just become a, an abuse of power when you have those agreements violated every single day at some point at some point the contract becomes meaningless why bother and i don't condone the rioting or anything like that but <laughs> what else are desperate people supposed to do I mean, Minneapolis has gone through this before. And actions were being taken to prevent this, but they died before anything was actually done. It's this constant saying and not doing that seems so rampant in this country. So many citizens political leaders, celebrities even. It's, it's heartbreaking. And in the midst of all of this, the majority of the people protesting are peaceful. The majority of police, they're decent people as well. You have police officers stripping themselves of the uniforms and joining the protesters like if that doesn't say something about the people and the system what else does when you have the the people upholding the law shedding that role to protest for what they're supposed to be upholding in the first place not not protesting what they're supposed to be upholding but protesting the system that is asking them to uphold these laws that are not being honored by their fellow officers, fellow citizens. <sighs> and then what our, what our president did sour taste in my mouth saying that especially now authorizing ordering the use of tear gas on peaceful protesters <sighs> all for a fucking photo op This is incredibly painful to watch, to listen to, to any of this. But this is, this is a point of no return. People are already, I mean, there are so many people in the, in the country, outside of the country that are wanting change to happen. It's not even at the common level, it's, it's everybody. People of all classes, all roles, wanting change to happen. Wanting things to be different, to be better. 
and I think that right there is the key. We live in, in such tumultuous times, but we need to remember that not only do we need to take action and follow through with our action, but once the dust is settled, we need to rebuild. Not just settle with the dust, we need to rebuild with a better, more supportive foundation. And in this case, that's political. We need, it doesn't matter if they're Democratic or Republican, but we need people in offices of all levels, federal, state, county, city, every level of government, especially local, that are there for the good of the people, for the good of the common person that wish to see this country as a united whole, that wish to see the world as a united whole, you know, and not under one flag or anything, but, but having the ability for peaceful, amicable discussion for people to listen and hear each other. For cooperation. This, this conflict. Conflict of interest, conflict of ideals, conflict of everything. People are done. And all I know is that I hope these times, these times of grief, these times of that these terrible times die with me in my memories so that my children my children's children their children's children can forget what prejudice is not necessarily to the extent where they lose track of what most people would consider good and what most people would consider bad but remembering that we are all human. Regardless of the shape of our face, regardless of the color of our skin, at the end of the day, we all bleed red. At the end of the day, every single one of us is a person with emotions, with needs, with desires, with dreams even if those dreams are long buried. And each one of us has a desire to be accepted, to be heard. And when we feel comfortable enough or charged enough to speak, it doesn't matter what we look like. We're all brothers. We're all sisters. We're all part of the same link. If you're religious, we were all birthed from God. If you're not religious, if you, if you prefer evolution, we were all, we're all descendants from those that walked out of the jungles of Africa. We're all made of flesh and bone. But people seem to forget that. And I know I've done some things wrong in my life. I've, I've hurt people. But I know I did that because I was hurt. Because I, I, I learned something from it. And I'm choosing to change 
every time something like that happens. I'm choosing to improve myself. I want other people to feel better. I want other people to feel love, to feel hope, to be able to dream, to be able to connect with themselves, with each other, with the world around them. I probably won't see it in my lifetime, seeing everyone being able to discuss my children's children probably won't see it but I can work towards that vision <sighs> I just want a planet where people can smile genuinely smile and feel at peace, feel content. Feel safe, alone, and in the presence of others. And not because of some external stimulus, but because of what's inside them. And being able to share what's inside them with others. And when someone's hurt, allowing themselves to share that hurt without hurting others. So everyone can help them and transform that hurt into something beautiful, into something new, into growth. Because that's the ultimate choice right there. I mean, it, <laughs> I can sit here all day and feel angry or, or scared or sad about what's happened. But I need to do something, otherwise it's just going to stay here like that with me. <sighs> and I'm done sitting around. So anyway, um, I, I rambled for over 20 minutes. <laughs> If you've listened this far, then thank you. And I hope you'll join me in trying to make this world a better place. I want a, I want a community where we can all do that together. Where we can spread those kinds of messages and help others. Even if it's just lending an ear for a while, you know? That's, that's really what I want. So yeah. <sighs> Thanks for listening, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. <laughs>